Hi folks, welcome to Mock Speed Hobbies. Today we got a brand new one for you. This week we've got the FMS Atlas 6x6 crawler. This is a cool little machine. Uh, just came out of left field. We weren't really expecting it until I saw it. Um, FMS is more widely known to me as an airplane manufacturer. So when they came out the, with these really cool old school looking, kind of a rat rod looking uh, six by six and one eighteenth scale, I was really intrigued. So I immediately put some on order. So we're going to unbox this thing for you, maybe doing a little driving and let you know what they're all about. So let's get into it, guys. Okay, so here we have it, guys. Now, they do have uh, a blue and a red. The the blue ones came out first, so we're going to show you this one. Um, you'll see, like it, like I said, it's a really old-school-looking body. Uh, it kind of almost looks like an old logging truck. Um or like a deuce and a half type of look, you know, it's, it's uh, pretty cool. Um, it's small, but not too small. Uh, lots of times I always thought the 24 scale stuff that's been going around is a little on the small side for real crawling. So, uh, I'm really anxious to see what these look like. We're going to unbox this thing with you. This is the first time I've ever seen it. Uh, but one thing that we can go over with you, just what says on the box, we've got a true ladder frame, just like a, uh, a, uh, your bigger tent scale and up uh, crawlers have. It's got all wheel drive six by six, high torque transmission. Uh, it's a 104 to one ratio and then high grip, big block, mud train tires. So it's got some real blocky tread on there. Uh, they're actually beadlock tires too. So uh, the rims are one inch and they're beadlocks. Um, You've got true scale pinion and ring gear axles, uh, so you've got straight axles, uh, waterproof electronics, uh, it's a matte painted Lexan body. Uh, these even have LED lights, front and rear, really cool stuff to be included. Uh, aluminum anodized chassis rails, functional spare tire, and a toolbox that's also functional. And then you've got a 100 turn high torque motor to power this with. And they say you get up to about 30 minutes of runtime. The chassis mounted servo and pran hard bar is typical of the steering setups you'll see on other uh, straight axle crawlers. So pretty cool stuff. I mean, it's got all the features that you'd see in uh, your bigger tent scales. Now here I'll show you some things about the actual dimensions. It's 113.5 uh, uh, wide from tire to tire. Overall length is 296.5 millimeters long. That's 129 millimeters tall. Now you've got awesome approach angles too. From the rear, it's 84 degrees and the front is 64. So um, you won't have any approach angle problems with this thing either. Now I really like this too. It's got a, a nice high impact foam carrying case for it. This is what slides out of the sleeve. Uh, and when you lift the, the lid off, you'll see it's got a nice tight fit. You do have to kind of pop it free. But once that's off of there, everything's packed in there nice and tight where it's not moving around. There's your instruction booklet that comes with it. tells you how to operate it. Um, the truck, like I said, it's, it's meant to fit in there real nice and snug. When you're done with it, you can just lay it right back in the box and use this as a carrying case, which is super handy um we we'll like that don't see that a lot in the hobby uh and then your um your pistol grip controller actually breaks down into two parts so your uh, battery section right here has two contacts and then your upper section that has the pistol grip and your controls for uh trim and on off and stuff like that are right there and then this just slides on to the top. It just clicks in there like that. So kind of like loading a magazine in there and then you're ready to run. But that's kind of cool that that breaks down to go back in the case. Um, I think that's pretty neat. It is a pretty small controller, but it does have a foam rubber grip. Um, it still has a long enough handle. I've got really big hands and um, I'm able to hold it okay. Uh, so that's good. Um, Light enough for kids, big enough for adults. But the truck is really amazing looking. It's it's really, really scale. We like the roll bar. Uh, you've got the little toolbox back here that you can open up. 
it's just got a, a snap on lid so if you want to store stuff in there and then that just snaps right back on it's got two hooks in the front here and you just click it down so and then it's also got a functional spare tire and these are some really gummy tires too they they really did right by making them really uh really gummy like this that way they got plenty of flex plenty of bite uh for this little small crawler obviously it's not putting as much weight down on the ground as a bigger crawler so having a really high grip tire is really good so you've got a uh one one kilogram fms servo here let's see if it'll focus and you've got typical straight axle pan hard bar drag link style uh, steering you can see your uh, three-in-one control board up there in the top they've even got scale exhaust with the uh, heat shrouds that's pretty cool and then of course they come up to the stacks on the top um, you know you've got three link um, oh, excuse me a three link and a uh, pan hard bar for the uh, front su front suspension the universal joints all the way around you've you've actually got a divorced four wheel drive transfer case here and you'll see the four links start and go back you've got the uh, first axle here diverts power to another drive axle that goes back to the the rear axle so it it is true full-time six by six shouldn't have any trouble with traction on something like this uh, looks like we're going to have plenty of articulation um, each axle seems to have plenty um, you can get quite a bit of quite a bit of torque on that chassis and and keep all the wheels planted so that's going to be really not nice and then of course the leds the old school globe style and then you also have tail lights in the rear we're going to fire this thing up here in a little while and uh, we're going to take it outside and see what she'll do and one thing I'd like to add is that we noticed that there's uh, there's actually no pins that hold the body on. And I was looking around and said, you know, how am I going to get into this thing? And guess what, guys? It's magnetic. It's got a magnetic latch back here that it's a little straight bar. And you can see the other piece down in there that it gives you access. And this cab just tilts forward. And that gives you access to your plugs and your battery right there. Real easy access to all your electronics and even your radio system. So that's really cool. You're not dropping pins or anything. And then when you're ready to be uh, running, get everything plugged up, just snap it back and it's on there good and secure. It, but it just takes a little bit of pressure and that'll pop right back up for your access. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, so we're searching for a few rocks here to crawl in the back. LED lights are really cool. Okay, guys, so just in short, uh, I really think this little guy is going to be a great gift for Christmas. So, you guys, if you're thinking about that, um, early, you know, I'd grab these while they're available. I predict as soon as people start noticing these things, they're going to fly off the shelves. Um, I was really impressed. It works really well. Uh, it's a fairly low price point. I think they're around $160 retail, so it won't break the bank either. And it's got everything you need in one box. So, you know, charger batteries and everything. So, um, you know, look it up. Uh, we've got them in stock. We're getting more uh, stocking up for Christmas. So give us a call or come by the shop here in Dixon. Um, and also, if you guys like our content, we love making these videos for you. As always, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever we come out with new content.